Today we are lacking social inclusion. We must mobilize individuals who in an entrepreneurial and innovative way tackle the big problems we are faced with now and in the future. Social innovation is really about the process of change. The most obvious and visible expression of it has been social entrepreneurship. We have these unique skill sets, be the nerve center that interlinks and creates a new configuration that learns to work together in a more effective way. It means that you are creating practice and methodology which is possible for others to pick up. The secret is not to orchestrate everything, it's to build people up to the point where they start to go out and do the work on a much greater scale. If you are understanding towards their issues, involving them in your work, the sympathy raises a voice. We have to show that it's possible so people can see themselves that there's hope. They can dream for themselves. It's not just about the work that you do and the impact you create, but also about how it converts to something of big ticket relevance globally. If we want to bring things to scale and helping 100 people to helping 100 million, I think technology in that respect plays such a pivotal role. Technological change happens so quickly and we are able to use that and disrupt the existing system. Now there are more communities who want to join our system. I have to think how to redesign ourselves in such a way that it can be replicated and it can be scaled. Without the network, we would have not had the opportunity to leapfrog into other areas and develop broader. For the last two decades, the Shrub Foundation has embedded social entrepreneurs into the World Economic Forum network. In this next chapter, we look forward to building an intersectoral community of social innovators, bringing the system into the room to understand, build and deliver on the change we know we need. We have the opportunity to begin to hold hands and to allow us to share our models for greater impact at the global level. Please join me in welcoming Hilda Schwab, the chairperson and co-founder of the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship. Hilda. Thank you, Raj, for a very inspiring um, panel. It was amazing, and I'm really um, happy and proud to say that all these four panelists are social innovators of 2019, and we are very proud that you are representing all the categories in society who work in this sense. And a special thank you to Precious, of course, uh, for being such a wonderful partner for our foundation and passionate about social entrepreneurship, as well as Patrice and the Smotsepe Foundation. So thank you. Excellencies, Governor Newsom, Thank you very much for joining us here, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends. We have, since 20 years now, the Schwab Foundation nurtured a community of over 350 leading social entrepreneurs coming from 70 countries. They share many characteristics. They have been at the forefront of driving change accelerating how we solve problems and imagine the new futures through experimentation and practicing. But social entrepreneurs are no longer working in isolation. The Schwab Foundation recognizes the champions of social innovation in the social sector, but also in business, government and academia. We see social innovation as an ecosystem of pioneering actors with a common purpose. Based on the multi-stakeholder model of the World Economic Forum, we have introduced three new award categories as we encourage this dynamic community to build platforms for greater and more sustained change. We are introducing these new categories in recognition of the fact that social innovation requires visionary leaders in all sectors. There is ever-growing interest from governments, business and universities to develop and grow their own approaches to social innovation, often hand-in-hand -hand with social entrepreneurs. After the celebration of 20-year anniversary last year, 
we enter now in a new phase. The new award categories will allow the Schwab Foundation to directly engage leaders across the broader ecosystem and to foster deeper and more impactful collaborations with social entrepreneurs. I have now the great pleasure to announce the 2019 Schwab Foundation awardees, and I will start with the social entrepreneurs who have been chosen and recognized throughout the year at regional events of the World Economic Forum. Their explicit mission is to solve a social or environmental problem which will benefit society in general, with an emphasis on low-income, marginalized or vulnerable populations. It is my great pleasure now to tell you who these social entrepreneurs are. Jalil Alabadi, Altibi Limited, Merhad Bagai, High Resolves, Sanjay Patnagar, Water Health International, Alex Eaton, Sistema Bio, Mostafa Farahat, Nafam, Roberta Faria and Rodrigo Piponzi, Editoria Mol, Philip Goff, Center for Policing Equity, Prema Gopalan, Swayam Shiksang Prayog, Robin McIntosh and Lisa McLaughlin, Work It Health, Tabiseng Mosia and Alexander Tour, Kennedy Njoroge, Celluland Corporation, Christopher John Ralph Sheldrick, What Three Works, Joseph Thompson, Eight Tech, Halala Win, 368, and I would like social entrepreneurs to stand up so that we can recognize you. <laughs> I want to mention now the social innovation, innovation thought leaders. They are recognized, respected experts, academics, authors, who contribute substantially to the global knowledge and practice of social entrepreneurship and social innovation. They are Julie Batilana, Harvard Kennedy School of Government, Marie-Lisa Dakenay, Institute for Social Entrepreneurship in Asia, Cheryl Dorse, Echoing Green, Fadi Gandur, Wamda Capital, Felipe Santos, Catolica Lisbon School of Business and Economics, Peter Senge, MIT Sloan School of Management, Christian Zelos, Stanford University, Roberto Mangaveira Unger, Harvard Law School, and Francis Wesley, University of Waterloo. Please stand up so that we can see you. Corporate social entrepreneurs are leaders in a multinational or regional company who drive the development and introduction of new products, initiatives, services, or business models that address societal and environmental challenges. Let me introduce Rob Acker, Salesforce.org, Amar Ali, Africa Improved Foods, Royal DSM, Halil Daoud, Liban Post, Salagos, MasterCard, Pranav Kotari, Educational Initiatives, Harald Nusser, Novartis Social Business, Carence Vate Richard, AXA ESA. Please let us <laughs> congratulate you. Public social entrepreneurs are government leaders such as legislators, policy makers, and heads of government entities, as well as leaders in international organizations who harness the power of social entrepreneurship to create public good through appropriate policy or regulatory tools. Let me introduce Anne Branch, European Commission, Christophe Itier, Ministry for the Ecological and Inclusive Transition of France, Jeff Mulgan, Nesta, Kim In Sun, Korea Social Enterprise Promotion Agency, Mariam Owais, National Social Investment and Welfare Programs, Jonathan Wong, 
United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. Thank you all and congratulations for being such a dynamic force in driving change and in helping achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. This concludes our award ceremony 2019. Wow. Let me just add my own congratulations to all the award winners. Another thank you to this wonderful panel and thank you to Hilda Schwab and the Schwab Foundation. Congratulations and thank you. <laughs>